Welcome to one of the best single day road trips we have ever done along Highway 99 in British Columbia, also known as the Sea to Sky Highway. On the 95 mile drive, you'll leave Vancouver and head towards the rugged mountains of Whistler, driving along the house sound pretty much the entire way. As we embarked on our journey from Surrey to Squamish, one of the notable landmarks we crossed was the Portman Bridge. Spanning the Fraser River, this impressive cable stayed bridge is one of the widest in the world, with 10 lanes to accommodate heavy traffic flow. The bridge which connects Surrey to Coquitlam is a crucial part of Highway 1, the Trans-Canada Highway, and significantly reduces travel time for thousands of commuters daily. The sleek design and towering pylons, which stand at 75 meters high, make it a striking feature against the skyline. As we drove across, we couldn't help but marvel at the engineering marvel beneath us. We started this trip on a weekend, so the roads were quite busy. As soon as we left Sari, the weather was cloudy and there was a light drizzle on the way. But this did not dampen our enthusiasm. Our first stop was the Cypress Provincial Park View Park View Point. This place is truly amazing. From here, you can see a magnificent view of the entire Vancouver. The sun rays peeking through the clouds and the greenery all around made the start of our journey even more beautiful. we would definitely take this ride. This gondola gives you a stunning view from above the mountains, but today we couldn't do it due to the weather. Squamish is home to the Starmus Chief, a massive rock that's like a giant wall. People come from all over to climb it because it's so challenging and offers amazing views from the top. Nearby Sky Pilot Mountain has rough trails that are perfect for hiking and exploring. Squamish is famous for being Canada's top spot for outdoor fun, where you can do things like climbing, biking and skiing in the mountains all year round. It's also a place rich in history and wildlife, making it a great place to explore nature and have adventures. the squad. 
Squamish Adventure Center. It's this awesome place right in the heart of Squamish where you can get all the info you need for exploring around here. They're open from 8.30 in the morning until 4.30 in the afternoon. So it's perfect for planning your day of adventure. They've got everything maps, guides, and tips on the best hiking trails and outdoor activities. Plus, they have a neat gift shop where you can pick up souvenirs to remember your trip. It's really the go-to spot if you're looking to make the most out of your time exploring Squamish. We reached the Squamish Adventure Center, but it was closed. However, we took some great pictures there and enjoyed the surrounding views. On the way back, we made a brief stop at Shannon Falls. These waterfalls were truly spectacular. The sound of the water falling from a height and the refreshing atmosphere made our trip memorable. We spent some time here and thoroughly enjoyed this amazing natural wonder. prominent natural attraction known for its impressive height of 335 meters 1099 feet making it one of British Columbia's tallest waterfalls. Easily accessible from the sea to sky highway, it offers a short scenic walk to its base where visitors can experience the thunderous cascade and refreshing mist up close. Surrounded by lush forests and granite cliffs, Shannon Falls provides stunning photo opportunities and a peaceful setting for picnics. It's a popular stop for its dramatic beauty and the ease of access, attracting nature enthusiasts and travelers exploring the scenic wonders of the Pacific Northwest. seaside spot and took photos. There is also a camping ground here which makes it even more attractive. So friends, this was our exciting day trip from Surrey to Squamish. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.